<clears throat> Alright guys, in this video I'm going I'm to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the perchlorate ion. So here we go. We've got ClO4 minus. That's going to give us uh, 7 valence from the chlorine plus 4 oxygens each with 6 valence plus 1 more for the minus 1 charge which results in a total of 32 valence electrons. All right. And we can subtract the largest multiple of 8 from our total, which is also going to be 32, which gives us 0 remaining remaining electrons. And 32 is 8 times 4, so that means that this is going to be an AX4 uh, compound. Alright, so we can go ahead and start, start to draw this compound. Um, so we have the chlorine in the center, and there's 4 oxygens, 2, 3, 4. We can go ahead and start by single bonding all of them and then um, filling in the rest of the octet for each of the oxygens. Okay, and at first this might seem like it's the appropriate structure, but once you calculate the formal charges, you'll find that th this is not really the ideal structure. And knowing that chlorine is in the third um, period, you will know that it has the a D subshell, so it can have more than eight electrons, so it can also go beyond the octet rule. So what we're going to end up doing is moving three of these non-bonding pairs to make create uh, double bonds. So let's, let's go ahead and move those three. Now we have three sets of double bonds and one single bond. And we'll show you why, based on the formal charge, why that's what we're looking for. And we got don't forget to add the braces, the brackets with the minus one charge because it's an ion, okay? So let's check the formal charges. So the formal charge of chlorine is seven valence brought in, minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bonds, minus zero non-bonding, which is zero. If we had had if we had left all the single bonds in there, this would have ended up being a plus three formal charge, and that's not what we're looking for, okay? So now we can do the formal charges of, let's say, the oxygens with a single bond, which is with this one here, so O sub one. So that's six valence brought in, minus six non-bonding electrons, two, four, six, minus one bond, which is a minus one charge, all right? And now we can also then do the formal charges of the oxygen with two bonds, so O sub two, double bonds right here, here, and here. So that's six valence brought in, minus uh, four non-bonding for each one, minus two bonds on each oxygen. That's a formal charge of zero overall. And we can times that times three, because there's three of those oxygens. If you sum that up, that's an overall formal charge of minus one, which matches the charge on the ion, which is exactly what is supposed to happen, so, that's, so we're good to go. But notice in this structure, this we chose this top oxygen to have the single bond versus any of these ones. And in reality, it could have been any of those four oxygens. So that's going to lead us to having to draw resonance structures, which means just a, the, the same Lewis structure, just moving around the single bond. So let's go ahead and put it here. Okay, and there's, there's going to there's gonna be four total because there's four different locations that the single bond can go. I'm not going to go ahead and draw all four because that's going to take up too much of your time, but you get the idea. You can have one here, or here, or here, or here, and then the other three are all going to be uh, double bonds, all right? So next we can talk about the shape. Because it's the AX4 shape, that's, that means that it's going to be a uh, tetrahedral. shape, okay, and uh, the bond angle that occurs in the tetrahedral shape is going to be um, approximately 109.5 degrees, all right. Um, in terms of hybridization, there's one, two, three, four bonding sites, so SP3, one S, three P's, SP3 hybrid for the hybrid orbitals, and Due to the fact that these are all oxygens surrounding the, the chlorine in the center, um, it's going to end up being a non-polar compound. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.